Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss about the bony pelvis. Uh, now there are four bones that take part in the formation of bony pelvis. These are sacrum, coccyx, right and left hip bones. And uh, there are four joints that take part in the formation of uh, bony pelvis. These are right and left sacroiliac joints, sacro, coccygeal joint and anteriorly pubic symphysis. Now plane of pelvic inlet, this is the plane of pelvic inlet that divides the bony pelvis into upper part and lower part. This upper part is known as false pelvis or greater pelvis and this lower part is known as true pelvis or lesser pelvis. Now plane of pelvic inlet is bounded posteriorly by sacral promontory, this is the promontory of sacrum. Anteriorly it is bounded by upper margin of pubic symphysis and on each side it is bounded by linea terminalis. Now parts of linea terminalis are L of sacrum, arcuate line, pectineal line or pectin pubis and pubic crest. When we join all three boundaries, posterior boundary, anterior boundary and right and left uh, lateral boundaries, there is formation of pelvic inlet also known as sphere pelvic aperture or pelvic brim. Now above this is the false pelvis or greater pelvis. Boundaries of false pelvis are, imagine that here are the lumbar vertebras. So posteriorly it is bounded by lower lumbar vertebras and S1. Laterally on each side it is bounded by iliac fossa with iliacus muscle. And anteriorly imagine that here is the uh, anterior abdominal wall. So anteriorly it is bounded by lower part of anterior abdominal wall. So why it is called so, uh, false pelvis because uh, it has no pelvic organs and it has sigmoid colon and lower part of ileum and it is the part of uh, uh, posterior abdominal wall. Then after that uh, boundaries of pelvic outlet. Now uh, this is the pelvic uh, outlet. Uh, anteriorly it is bounded by lower margin of the pubic symphysis. Posteriorly it is bounded by tip of coccyx and on each side it is bounded by ischiopubic rami, ischial tuberosities and imagine these are the sacrotuberous ligament between ischial tuberosity and sacrum. Now when we join these boundaries, anterior boundary, posterior boundary and right and left boundaries on each side, there is formation of this diamond shaped pelvic outlet. Now boundaries of true pelvis are or lesser pelvis are, posteriorly it is bounded by pelvic surface of sacrum and coccyx, anteriorly it is bounded by pelvic surface of pubic symphysis and body of pubis and on each side it is bounded by pelvic surface of lower part of ileum, ischium, ramus of pubis and ramus of ischium. Now why it is called true pelvis because it contains pelvic organs in male and female uh, for example uh, urinary bladder, uterus and uh, rectum in female and uh, in male urinary bladder, rectum and prostate. Now, uh, anatomical position of the pelvis, bony pelvis is like this, that the anterior spiralic spine and pubic symphysis or pubic tubercle, they should lie in the same, like this, they should lie in the same coronal plane, that the pelvic surface of the body of pubis, it is directed backward and upward, and anterior surface is directed downward and forward. Sacral canal is in the um, uh, upright or upwards uh, position, and this pelvic inlet makes the angle of 50 to 60 degree with the uh, horizontal and this pelvic in, uh, outlet makes the angle of 15 degree with horizontal plane and this is known as pelvic inclination. So it was all about the bony pelvis.